Okay, Shalom. First and foremost, let me give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Rakak Adush. Double honors to my apostles and elders, a great millstone who rule well, teach well, be a great example to us, brothers. And peace and salutations to the hopeful elected visual scattered abroad. This is your brother Zakar Kassad, which means remember mercy. And we got to remember mercy in these days in order to perceive mercy. Just coming to you with another, um, uh, a little lesson, man. Basically, I'm going to talk about the end times. Basically, I'm going to go to this uh, page that's on uh, Twitter. And uh, this page that I was on. And uh, it's called End Times Headlines. I follow them on Twitter. And, uh, and, and, and go through a few of the news headlines. It says, uh, play with fire and you will get burned. So in China right now, you know, China is uh, at odds with America, obviously. But uh, Nancy Pelosi wants to make a trip to Taiwan and they're not having it, man. You know, they, they're, they're supposedly going to shoot down her her plane or whatever it says play with fire and you will get burned china's sea fierce warning to biden on taiwan in two hours call as tensions reach boiling point and white house braces for potential military response okay these things are happening man see wars and rumors of wars let's look at this next one new york state declares monkeypox as an imminent threat San Francisco issues a state of emergency over this um, V-I-R-U-S. Okay, so these things are happening, man. As you can see, and, and you know the last time they issued a state of emergency, I think it was in Wuhan, and then the whole world got locked down. Okay? So these things are happening, man. Uh, the Lord is performing a, a, a mighty work in these days man okay i want to go down to here it says the world health organization let's look at this one the world health organization will soon try to change the way people view gender by updating a 146 page agency manual with an explanation of gender that exists on a continuum and that sex is not limited to male or female, man. All types of scriptures that we can we can we can bring up that talk about that, man. You know. Model named Cupcake. Look at this person. The world that we live in, brothers and sisters, is is a uh, Esau Edom's world, man. So called white man, it's the devil's world. Okay, and and the Lord is coming to destroy this place. Let me read this one. It says, uh, "For months now, disaster after disaster keeps striking the U.S. Why do you think that is, man? Because uh." The Lord is visiting the U.S. The Lord is visiting Babylon. The Lord is visiting the earth in which he made, man. Okay. Matter of fact, let me get that scripture. It says, it says um, St. Andrews, chapter 9, verses 1, it says, He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself. And if you measure the time, you can see all these things that are happening in the earth, man. The Lord spoke about them in the scriptures. Okay, this man with man and woman with woman. These, these different agendas, these alphabet agendas these, that they're pushing on our kids through, the, through the, uh, their school systems. Through cartoons. Through everything, man. Everything is against the Lord. Second Thessalonians chapter 2. And uh, or is this chapter three? You know, Esau Edom wants to play God. He thinks that his science, his science is uh, God, man. 
but the Lord gave him his signs. It says, Second Edges 9 and 1, He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself, and when thou seest part of the signs pass. What are the signs that are passing? Earthquakes in diverse places. We can go to Matthew 24. Wars and rumors of wars. All these signs that you're seeing pass. Matter of fact, let's go to Matthew 24 real quick and, and look at different signs that the Lord said he would he would uh, show in these times, man. Let's look at the signs and we'll go back to that, Lord willing. And it says, uh, this is Matthew 24, and I'll, st I'll start at 6, and, it's, and it reads, And you shall hear of wars and rumors of wars, see that you be not troubled. For all these things must first come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And that's what we're seeing every single day, man. And there should be famines and pestilences, famines, hunger, lots of hunger in the world, pestilences, different diseases, monkeypox, CV, CV-19, CV-20, CV-23, and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrow. Those are signs. That's how you measure the time. Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted and shall kill you. And ye shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. People hate the people of the Lord. They don't like um, people that talk about the Lord, man. Let me skip down here. It says, uh, verse 12, And because iniquity shall abound. What's iniquity? Sin up on top of sin. And, sh and because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. So those are the times that we're living in, man. We're living in these times right now, man. Let me let me see. Let's go back to Second Edges nine, and it says verse one. And he said unto me then, he and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself, and when thou seest part of the signs pass, which I have told thee before. And second, and, and we just read them in Matthew's twenty four. We read a few of them. Then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time we're in the highest will begin to visit the world which he made, okay? Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and upwards of the people, did not we just read about earthquakes and upwards of the people in Matthew 24? Verse 4, Then shalt thou well understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. For like as all is made in the world hath a beginning, and an end, and the end is manifest. The end is manifest. It says for months now, disaster after disaster keeps striking the U.S. It is a, it is as if we are in the midst of some sort of perfect storm that never seems to end. Are we under the judgment of God? Yes, you are. You can go through a few of these things. Yeah, pe people are waking up, man. Somebody even got a scripture on there. For then there should be great distress, unequal from the beginning of the world until now, and never to be equal again. Great reset. <laughs> if those days had not been cut short, no one would survive. That that scripture is you know that's 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 key right there Matthew twenty four and twenty two. Let's just go to that real quick through the Spirit because they got it in in NL, NLT. I'll get it in just a regular. Um, yeah, I just was there. Okay, and it says uh, this is Matthew twenty four and twenty two, and except those days should be shortened. These days are being shortened every day, man. Like, you wake up and then it's already time to go to sleep. Like, literally, man. Like, you put a snooze button on in order to uh, snooze for, like, five minutes before you go to work. And it, it's like, it goes so fast. The days are going so much faster because the Lord is visiting this place, man. And he's He's waking up his elect. He says, and accept those days, this is red letter, so Yahweh Shai is speaking, who you in to call Jesus. And except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, the elect of the Lord, the elect of Israel, 
for the elect's sakes, those days shall be shortened, man. Because Esau ate him. Is trying to kill everybody through, through the water, through things that he's spraying on the crops, spraying in the earth. You know, the trees are suffering. The, the animals are suffering. Um, people are hungry. There's famines. There's pestilences. There's different diseases. There's all types of things, and it all starts with the so-called white man. He's doing this to the earth, man. He's destroying things on purpose because Revelations 12 and 12, for the devil has come down onto you because he knew that he had but a short time. Right? Let's get that real quick. Prove that. He's doing it on purpose, man. Okay. And it says, let me get this. Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil, who's the devil? He saw Edom. And everybody who agrees with this great reset, this new agenda to put chips into your hands. For the devil has come down onto you having great wrath because he knew that he have but a short time. Why has he got a short time? Because the Lord told him he has a short time, man. The Lord told him he has a short time. You know, you could think back to the uh, Daniels. I, I forget what chapter it was, but whenever those words were written, you know. Weighed in the balance. He's weighed in the balance, man. Let me look that up. Just going through the spirit right now, man. You know, we got plenty of infirmities. We got plenty of things that we're going through. Uh, thou art weighed in the balance. Slock you. Slock you. This is Daniel 5. And uh, I'll start at, um, because this is basically America right now, man. I'll start at 22, and it says, And thou, his son, O Belshazzar, has not humbled thine heart, though thou knowest all things, but has lifted up thyself against the Lord of heaven, man. You know, you go up to, um, you know, Second Thessalonians again. Let me just hit that real quick, because I keep on mentioning it. Just scriptures, you know, just the scriptures through the spirit, man. I think it's starting at two. No, it's on three. It says, uh, yes, yeah, two. It says, uh, it says, verse three, second Thessalonians two and three, let no man deceive you by any means, for that day should not come, except there come a falling away first, and that that man of sin be revealed. Who's that man of sin? The son of perdition, Esau, Edom, man. You no, know, it was talking about this, uh, Judas Iscariot. But right now, it's Esau, Edom, and the so-called white man. Verse 4, who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called God. And, and Esau, Edom, this government, these wicked elites, man, the Illuminati, they, they oppose and exalt themselves above all that is called God. It says, or that is worshipped so that he is God, sitteth in the temple of God, showing himself that he is out of one of Yahweh. Okay, he thinks that he is the most high, man. Okay, and he's weighed in the balance, just like Daniel ch chapter 5 said. Okay, he's, his kingdom is weighed in the balance. Okay, was that 4? And uh, we're going to read that real quick. It says, uh, Daniel 5 and 23, and it says, but has lifted up thyself against the Lord of heaven, and have, and they have brought the vessels of his house before thee, the Lord's house. And thou and thy lords and thy wives and thy concubines have drunk wine in the vessels of the Lord. And thou hast praised the gods of silver and gold, of brass, iron, wood, and stone, which see not nor hear nor know, and the God in whose hand thy breath is and whose are all thy ways hast thou not glorified verse 24 here we go then was part of the hand sent from him and this is america right now man they're weighed in the balance the lord is coming to destroy this place like he promised okay mystery babylon okay and this writing was written and this is the writing that was written many many techo uh her, her son, her son, 
This is the interpretation of the thing. Many, God have numbered thy kingdom and finished it. So hey, it's over with for America. And everywhere Esau, Edom, so-called white man, lays his head. Tekel means thou art weighed in the balances and are found wanting. Paris, thy kingdom is divided, just like today. Democrat and Republican. Trump, Biden. Esau versus Jacob. And given to the Medes and the Persians, which are the Russians and the Iranians. It says, look, see? So basically, America's kingdom is uh, divided. Thou art weighed in the balance and are found wanting. God have numbered thy kingdom and finished it. So it's over with for Esau Edom. It's over with for America. That's why you see these things happening in the earth, man. And they're not going to get better. Until the Lord destroys this place, man. They're not going to get better until the Lord destroys this place all the way. Let me get some more. So, we read that. It says, New York State declares monkeypox as an intimate threat. San Francisco issues state of emergency over the, over the thing. Then we just read one of these down here. I wanted to get something else. It says, deadly flood strike eastern Kentucky. At least eight dead. Yeah, deadly floods. Who, who, who's bringing the floods, man? Who's bringing the floods, man? It says, uh, this is first. The FBI raided a private business to seize safe deposit boxes and assets belonging to hundreds of people who were not suspected of having committed any crimes. Yeah, these people are crooked. Now, persecutors are trying to keep the public in the dark about it. Why they did it. Yeah. Because they're crooks, man. The witches need to die, man. Look at this one. This is the one I wanted to get for you, brothers and sisters. The Academy of Breastfeeding Medicine has introduced a language guide for U.S. hospitals that features gender-neutral terminology, including the term father's milk. Get the, f get the heck out of here, man. You see? He opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called God. How is a father supposed to have milk? He opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called God. How is a father supposed to have milk, man? You see? Oh, man. We got to get out of here, man. Yeah, man, just just little news headlines, man, just going through this just one page right here. OK. The Pentagon has just sent an aircraft carrier to the South China Sea ahead of possible visit of Taiwan by House Speaker Nancy Pelosi. This comes as China has threatened the West in regards to the visit by Pelosi. Look at this one. North Korea's Kim says he is ready to mobilize nuclear weapons. Yes, look at that. And this is the one that I wanted to get, man. See, this they they're coming after the they're coming after the Israelites. CNN wants you to believe that there's an imposter Christianity has infiltrated America and is threatening American democracy. If you dare be patriotic and call yourself a Christian, you may very well be a threat. Look at that. So, famine of the word is coming. You know, they're going to take the apostles and elders and all the people that's preaching the word off of the, uh, they're going to take us off the uh, highways and byways. Woman claims to be a real life vampire with fang teeth and titanium horns worshipped like a god. Look at this. We got to get out of here, man. We got to get out of here, man. We got to get out of here. It says America has now officially entered a recession. Yeah, guaranteed. Disney Plus just broke its promise to stay family friendly, adding rated R movies to their streaming platforms because they want to show you what they're really about. It says... A potentially deadly type of bacterium previously found only in parts of Asia, Africa, or Australia has now been detected for the first time 
in soil and water samples in the U.S. All types of things that are happening on the earth, man. And the Lord's doing it, man. He's bringing all these plagues, man. Okay? The Lord is doing it. He's bringing all these plagues. Let's get this second address real quick. And I think I had, uh... Yeah, I did have second address. And it was 12. Let me start. And, uh, let me see. Might have been 11. So I can... This is uh, Second Edges chapter 14. And I'll start at 13. It says, Now set thine house in order. <coughs> to like you. And reprove thy people. Comfort such of them as be in trouble. And now renounce corruption. Let go from thee mortal thoughts. Cast away the burdens of man. Put off now the weak nature. Because the Lord is coming, man. He's visiting the earth in which he made. As you can see, you're measuring the time diligently. You can see all these things that the scriptures speak about are coming to life. And, and if, if that be so, what more what, what more for his coming, man? You know? He said we was going to go into slavery. We went into slavery. What more for his coming? He said there's going to be wars and rumors of wars. Great darkness covering the earth. What more for his coming? He said Esau, Edom, so-called white man, was going to be our enemy. Hanging us up from trees. Killing our kids. Throwing our babies off of rocks. Throwing them to alligators for alligator baits. What more for his coming? He said all these things are going to happen. Believe in the Lord. I believe in Yahweh Bashamel Shah when he said that he's coming. That he's searching Jerusalem with candlesticks. That he promises healing in his wings. I believe in the Lord, man. And we need healings. We need them new bodies, man. We need Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai to send his son Yahweh Shai, man. That's what we need right now. Verse 15. And set aside the thoughts that are most heavy unto thee. And haste to flee from these times. These evil times, man. And here it go right here. Verse 16. Second Edges 14 and 16. For yet greater evils than those which thou hast seen happen shall be done hereafter. Verse 17, for look, so that means more evil's coming, man, more human trafficking, more children dying, more people being killed and gunned down in the streets, just laid there, sitting there for a few hours, a few days, never getting picked up, you know, funerals are way expensive, ain't nobody being held, ain't nobody about to have no funeral these days, man, ain't nobody burying nobody in the earth, man, bodies just about to be dropping, man. Plagues are sent, man. Second edge is 16. Right? It says, and we're living in second edge is 15 and 16 right now. Verse 17, for look how much the world shall be weaker through age. So much more shall evils increase upon them that dwell therein, man. Okay? So much more shall evils increase upon them that dwell therein. Evils, man. Let's get that word evils, man. Let's get that word evils, man. Just a short little impromptu, man. You know? I'm hoping that the Lord can save me, man. You know? I'm hoping that the Lord can save me. Evil, it says bad, vicious, ill, wicked. All types of bad things are happening on this earth. Wicked. These people are wicked people, man. They're wicked. Ugly. Misfortune, unskillful, defective. It says, uh, let's go to it real quick. Evil, anything that causes injury, anything that harms or is likely to harm, right? A malady or disease, conduct contrary to standards of morals of righteousness. Evil, man. Bad, ill, bad times, man. Evil, morbidly, morbidly. It says, morally objectionable behavior, wickedness, iniquity. It says, that which causes harm or destruction or misfortune. 
a quality of being morally wrong in principle or practice. See, Esau Edom is evil, man. Morally bad or wrong. Having or exerting a malignant influence. Having a nature of vice. Esau, Esau, Esau Edom is very wicked, man. Wickedness. Wicked. Bad. Wicked. False. Okay? Wicked. Okay? Wicked. Morally objectionable behavior. Absence of moral or spiritual values. Wicked. Esau Edom, the world is wicked. The people who live in the world are wicked. Esau Edom, the so-called white man, is wicked, man. The Lord created the wicked for the day of destruction, man. And the Lord created the wicked. Let me get that. The Lord created the wicked for the day. Yep, Job 21 and 30. It says, it says that the wicked is reserved. Let me get this real quick. That the wicked is reserved to the day of destruction. They shall be brought forth to the day of wrath. Okay. Look at that. And the Lord said he also, he created the wicked for the day of destruction. He says, uh, a vessel made for wrath in a day. Let me see. It's lucky. I'm getting it wrong. Romans 9 and 22. And it says, what if God, what if the most high, what if Yahweh willing to show his wrath and to make his power known endured with much long suffering, the vessels of wrath fitted for destruction, man. Okay. Which much like the Lord made the good and the evil, man. I wanted to read this first. Let me get it all. Because I'm tripping. And it says, Romans 9, okay, and 21, it says, Have not the potter power over the clay of the same lump to make. That's Esau and Jacob. The Lord made Esau wicked, just like Cain and Abel. He made Cain wicked and Abel righteous, just like he did Esau and Jacob. He made Esau wicked and Jacob, which is the Israelites. His name was later changed to Israel. The 12 tribes of Israel came out of his loins. He made him righteous and gave him the covenant. Man. The covenant goes through Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Jacob, Yaquab. So there's righteousness on this earth, which is the 12 tribes of Israel, so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. And you other tribes, man. And then there's wickedness, which is you so-called white people, you Chinese, you Am Ammonites, you Moabites. You know, and it's not a color thing. It's the spirit by the spirit, you know, and you can try the spirit by the spirit. It says, have not the potter power over the clay. And who's the potter? The Lord, Yahweh, who you only call God, Yahweh, man, of the same lump to make one vessel unto honor and another unto dishonor. What if the most high willing to show his wrath and made and make his power known endure with much long suffering? the vessels of wrath fitted for destruction and that he might make known the riches of his glory in the vessels of mercy man which is the righteous which he had afore prepared unto glory he did it beforehand man this is the lord's movie we're just playing in it okay the lord's the one who kills and heals man the lord's the one who does all these things man and i'll get that i'll get that real quick and i'll close it out man because all these things that are happening in the earth, man, it's the Lord's doing it, man. It says, Deuteronomy 32 and 39, see now that I, even I am he, and there is no God with me. I kill and I make alive, I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of mine hand. That's what the Lord said, man. So he can make one vessel onto wrath and another one onto uh, mercy, man. You know, he has mercy on who he wants to have mercy on. This is his movie. We're just living in it, man. So when you see all these things that are happening in the earth, man, all these wicked things, just know that the wicked is the wicked. Just know that these people are going to die, man. Know that these people are going to die, man. Look, Fellowship Baptist Church has removed J.D. Hall from membership, says wife did not want abuse reported. Look at all these, Pastor, Pastor Teg, 
Hargert has been accused of inappropriate male touching and drug use in his new ministry. Look at these damn pastors, man. Look at this one. Those that control our food supply wield an, an amount, immense amount of power. Therefore, now who's controlling the food supply now? Did not Bill Gates just buy up like 80% of the farmland? Therefore, if it falls into the wrong hands, it could spell disaster for America. Yeah, Bill Gates bought all their fucking farmland, man. And he wants you to, he wants you to eat synthetic meats. Massive earthquake in the Philippines has killed five and injured dozens and destroyed homes and structures, man. Look at this. Toxic airborne particles. Look at this. Toxic airborne particles from cars and fossil fuels have long been associated with rapidly increasing rates of disease in the UK and developed world. See, Esau Edom, he, he, he makes things, he compares everything. Oh, my science says, my science says, my science says. Well, your science is killing people, you fucking idiot. You see? All these things that are happening, man. This is ranchers go into panic mode as drought leads to mass sell-off of cattle. Look at that, man. They can't feed their cattle. They can't feed their cattle, man. They can't feed their cattle, so they're selling off all the cattle. Look at that, man. And you remember not too long ago, all those cows that died, they just, it's like a thousand cows just end up dying, man. <laughs> CDC claims the U.S. now leads globally in known monkeypox cases, over a thousand cases in New York alone. So this this monkeypox thing is going to shut things down for sure. It's gonna it's gonna it's gonna shut things down just like the C nineteen did. Okay, it's gonna shut things down, man. Look at that man travels over seven hundred miles to sh shoot and kill ex wife. And then himself after she posted about their marriage woes on TikTok. Look at that, man. See? All types of women getting judged, man. 40 states in the U.S. experiencing moderate drought. The entire state of Massachusetts is officially in a drought in Las Vegas. Water police patrol for water wasters <laughs> amid unprecedented drought. So they got water police, man, that are patrolling, man. <laughs> This is crazy, man. We're living in the end times, man. You living in the end times, man. You know, water by measure. You know, let me get that scripture real quick. You're gonna have you're gonna have to drink water by uh measure, man. You know, people gonna be drink, drinking water by water and food by measure real soon, man, because famine's coming, man. Let me see. Let me see. I think it's in Revelations. No, it says water by, uh, they should drink with water with a stump. Let me see. It's lucky, brothers and sisters. Just do the spirit, man. No. Astonishment. No, it's in Ezekiel. Look at that. No, Ezekiel 4 and 16. This is Ezekiel 4 and 16. And I read for it, I read uh, 12 and 19. It says, Moreover, he said unto me, Son of man, behold, I will break the bread, the staff of bread in Jerusalem, the staff of bread. So hunger is coming to this place, man. All those uh, Taco Bells and McDonald's, and you think that's going to keep on going and shit, that's not going to keep on going, man. You know, all your Kroger's and uh, your Walmarts, and you think that the food's going to still stay in there, man. You got truckers that are quitting. You know, they're trying to bring in automated uh, trucking systems that can just deliver the food without the people and it's not gonna work man you know they're trying to start their global new world order 
trying to give you processed meats, trying to give you meats that are uh, made in some kind of lab somewhere, man. The Lord's going to do it, man. I will break the staff of bread in Jerusalem, and they shall eat bread by weight and with care, and they shall drink water by measure and with astonishment, man. With astonishment. You're going to be astonished, man. Let me look up that word astonishment real quick. It's lucky. I ain't mean for this to go so long. It's just through the spirit, man. You know? Astonishment. A, st a state of being amazed or shocked with wonder. Like, look at that, man. You're going to be drinking... You're going to be drinking water with astonishment. You're going to be shocked that you that this is all you got, man. Because you, 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 constantly, you constantly just kept on eating and constantly... It says to stun, to astonish, to stun, strike senseless, to stun, daze, deafen, astound, paralyze, paralysis, astonishment, the feeling that accompanies something extremely surprising. Wow, man. Wow. Ezekiel 12 and 19, and it reads, and say unto the people of the land, thus saith the Lord, God, Yahweh, the inhabitants of Jerusalem. And of the land of Israel, they shall eat the bread with carefulness, man. So, hey, it's going to be real. All those homeless people that you people been, you pass them up on the, on, on the streets. You don't give them a dollar. You don't give them five cents or nothing. You're going to be just like them real soon in America, man. They shall eat their bread with carefulness and drink their water with astonishment that her land may be desolate from all that is therein. Because of the violence of all of them that dwell therein, man. And the pride, man. The Lord is sending plagues upon this place, man. The Lord is sending great, great plagues upon this place, man. Since 40 states in the U.S. experiencing moderate drought. Okay, they got Lake Mead. It's uh, receding. You ain't got no water in there. And that's... And then you got uh, the Hoover Dam that just caught fire the other day and water is ex, ex, uh the water's just going away man you know and if those bombs go off then the water's going to be contaminated then you're really not going to have anything to drink i mean man needs water to live man so these things are happening on the earth man because the lord is visiting the earth in which he made man and he's tired of you people he's tired of you people man he's tired of you 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 you, you commit sins and you just keep on doing it in the eyes of the lord Get all types of people mocking the Lord, mocking his son. This is uh, ancient Egypt all over again. This is mystery Babylon, Babylon the Great all over again. This is Rome 2.0 all over again. It says the entire state of Massachusetts is officially in a drought and Las Vegas water police patrol for water wasters. Look at that, man. You're going to be drinking your water with astonishment, man. <laughs> hey. A stretch of Rio Grande near Albuquerque that supplies farmers with water and a habitat for an array of aquatic life is drying up for the first time in 40 years. The Lord's doing it, man. He's killing you people, man. Yeah, a bishop and his wife were robbed for 40K in jewelry. Heist doing a live stream. Yeah, we seen that already. Yeah, man. It's going down, man. Hey, with that, I want to give all praises on the glory to you. How about Shimei Oshai? Hopefully, this message was edifying, man. Hey, repent and be saved. Show the one.